everybody and welcome to this episode of Craftsy Print TV. I'm Amanda McGee and I'm a designer of Craftsy Print. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely Noel Pretty in Pink Christmas Noel Large DL card front. Um, cup number for it is 146302 underscore 56. Right, first thing you need to do is download purchase, download and print off that cop number which is again 146302 underscore 56. Um, for this particular card I sprayed it with spray glitter but this one I'm just for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to use it without. So cut out all the elements off the sheet. Now this one actually has the card front and then it has one large piece to cut out and smaller piece. Um, I don't find it any more difficult to cut out the large piece than any other size. Some of, some of the sheets have got separate pieces, some are just one large piece with all the elements on. So, before I start, I'll show you the tools that you'll need to make the card. So you need your cutting mat, a pair of big scissors, um, my decoupage snips, which are like my third hand, um, tweezers, which is my fourth hand, a craft knife for the intricate parts, a bone folder, silicon glue, double sided tape and a cocktail stick or a skewer for applying the silicon glue. Which I hasten to add is from a very well known sister site of Craft You Print. Um, and also another tool that I use is my guillotine. So, score and fold an A4 sheet of card into a long DL, a large DL format. On the card front, I've just put double sided tape on the back. So I'm just going to remove the double sided tape. Essentially, over three sides the top, the bottom, and the left hand side uh, because I'm going to cut part of the right hand side off because uh, it just looks a lot neater. So, and that's the part that I'm going to cut off. So I'll, just that off. I'll just open it out, I find it a lot easier to open. removed and that's it's central on the card now. So I've cut out my decoupage elements and I've just curved them a little bit to give them a nice shape. So I'm just going to apply silicon glue silicon glue because it's easier to move the pieces about once they're on the card. Foam pads, if you make a mistake it's much more difficult. Plus the fact you get a nicer shape with silicon glue I think. position. The larger piece, even though it is large, it's still easy to position it over and then just push it down. So. And then just 
put an insert in. I've actually uploaded a kit of inserts today. So I can't remember what the cup number is, but if you look under insert, or if you look under kits and inserts, then you'll find them there. Okay, so that's that's that complete. Um, just to let you quickly see a selection of cards that I've made using my sheets. There's quite a few, and I've got some, quite a few left to make. Um, I'll just quickly go over the envelope for you. I make my own envelopes because I find they're a lot cheaper than buying them uh, for the large DL. So that's one that I've made. And it's basically a double-sided tape for the closure, but you can use the uh, envelope glue if you so wish. Anyway, I'll quickly go through this. Um, I measure from that corner to there and that corner to there eight and a half centimetres, that corner to there and that corner to there 13 centimetres, and then that corner to there and that corner to there eight and a half, and that corner to there and that corner to there 13. So basically eight and a half at op opposite ends and 13 at opposite ends. And what I do is where I've measured 13, um, I draw a line across each so that I can see where and I use a parchment pencil for that because it's white, you can see it but it's not too glaring obvious like an oil pencil. So the 13 centimetre ones I've cut off and that formed the top and bottom flaps. So all I need to do now is where I've measured and scored, I've already scored these, eight and a half centimetres, I fold them in. Now all I need to do is get my pencil and about half a centimetre, I just mark, mark from there to there, half a centimetre, there to there, there to there, and there to there. And then I just take my ruler and score across. and then turn it round the other way and score across, thus making the top and bottom flaps in the envelope. So I just fold them over and then all you do is you put double sided tape on that part and that part and then stick them together and then the top flap. I cut off the inter inter intersection points as well just to neaten it up and then you can put your glue or your double sided tape on the flap. So it's a brilliant size envelope, perfect size for these cards. So that's basically it. Um, just like to thank you for watching this Cup TV episode. Just to remind you that my sheets are available on www.craftsyouprint.com forward slash Amanda McGee. Just to remind you of the cup number for this sheet again, it's cup number 146302 underscore 56. Like I say, I've got a lot more of these sheets available, so just basically like to say thank you very much for watching this episode, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another one. So thank you, bye-bye.